In October 2002, the Kingsley Football Club became a household name as its players became the face of the Bali bombings in Perth. A group of 20 teammates had flown to Bali to celebrate a successful season, only to be caught up in a tragedy that claimed the lives of 202 people, including 88 Australians. Among them was Brad McElroy, who shared the team's grief with the world after they arrived back home. Flight home was, was tough because we all know the reason we tried staying there. But when it almost became impossible for us to do anything more, it was almost like a relief. It was such a relief to get back to Perth. On Friday night, the team and their clubmates reunited at the ground that's tied them together ever since. What we went through as a club 20 years ago um, was really tough and we became a really big family. And so catch-ups like this, uh, it's, it's, like, uh, it's like Christmas with the family you want to see. Yeah, it's awesome. When the team arrived back in Perth after the bombing, the same ground hosted thousands at a candlelit memorial. We didn't really know what to expect when we came back from Bali um, and we probably had no idea how much the impact on the community sort of felt and I think they needed a place to grieve as well. Friday night's Legends game, a prelude to this week's 20th anniversary of the attack, is a reminder of the unbreakable bond the bombing created. Guys still still grieve and, and go through their ups and downs, so it's good to know that support's always there. Good to see everyone out here and all getting around each other. It really brings a lot to the community, and I love this club for that. I was coming through the Colts as it happened, so become really good mates with a few of the older boys, so to be able to support them and get around it, it's just a big night for the whole community and the footy club. And an opportunity to get back to the community that brought them together in the first place. To have gone through something so significant, but you know, have these guys to have a beer with on occasions like tonight, it's awesome. Yeah. Many of the teammates and their families will also attend Wednesday's state memorial service at Kings Park. Keen Burke, ABC News.